Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today you might observe uh, that the camera quality is a little bit better because I am recording with my phone and then I have to sync the audio with the <laughs> screen capture. So today I thought uh, that already we have crossed 200 subscribers on YouTube. So I thought that we should record the top 10 responses video which is the grand finale that will be. Let us go ahead and look at the grand finale of this series. I enjoyed making this series and I learnt a lot because I got to practice a lot of openings then also to look at games, to play online chess. It was in general a very good experience and now let us go ahead to chess base where I have prepared my notes and let's get right into it. First move because we are right we are going to play e4 and the best response e4 many of you might know will be very familiar with this opening. And statistics, let me give you some statistics now. Almost 40% of the games, of all E4 games will be uh, faced with the with this move. And I am definitely sure that you know what this move is going to be. I am laughing because, uh, <laughs> okay, construction is going on, I have a lot of setup here, <laughs> oh my god. Whatever, let's continue. So the point is, uh, more often than not, you will be facing this opening and the move is obviously the Sicilian defense, E4, C5, it is the most popular response I know many of you know. Today we are going to play a very aggressive style against the Sicilian in general. So let me uh, go ahead a couple of moves, the basic moves we will get it out of the way. We will respond with the move knight to f3. Now since black has played the move c5, so black is trying to control the center via the flank. So our idea should be very simple, I have been telling this in all my videos and all my streams. Uh, control the center, it is very important. So we are going to control the center with knight f3, controlling the d4 square and the pawn is controlling two of the center squares. So we are playing the move knight to f3 for maximum control on the center and now black has a variety of moves to respond with. Black can play d6, knight c6, e6, g6, knight f6, even a6 maybe. It, black has a lot of variations to play. But the most popular uh, response, that is the point of the whole series, the top uh, response is the move d6. And we will uh, look into d6 because it is the most popular move. We will control the center as per our plan with the move d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. And now what you need to notice here is I have highlighted that black has exchanged the flank pawn for the center pawn. That simply means that black is having two center pawns and white is having only one center pawn. So that is why since we are white we should not prefer the end game and we should rather try to finish the game in the middle game itself. We will see how to do that in just a minute. Black plays knight to f6 now trying to attack the e4 pawn and let us have a look if black does not play f6 and for example plays the move a6 then we can play the maroxi bind which continues after c4 knight c3 bishop to e3 bishop e2 and you can play a general normal game but generally black will uh, tend to respond with the move knight to f6. So we have to protect the pawn knight to c3. Now here again black has a variety of options knight c6, e6 or maybe e5, g6, a6 but to your surprise I don't think you will be surprised by this move but here the most popular response is the move a6 and this is known as the Sicilian knight of variation in which the idea is simple the move a6 is played to stop uh, the bishop or the knight to come to b5 and I think e5 is played e5 or e6 is played in the further moves. You might be thinking okay Abhinav this is a Sicilian knight of and you might be thinking how do I counter it. So you can play two moves I think two moves I would suggest bishop to e3 or bishop to g5. So bishop to g5 we are going to have a look bishop to e3 is a very common way to play. I am going to suggest as you know <laughs> I'm big brain and I like to attack I like to play aggressive chess. So I will suggest the move bishop to g5 it is a uh, aggressive way to play. Here black can play the move e6 or e5. e5 I have not covered in this video if you want me to cover the move e5 do let me know. We will have a look at the move e6. So, since this is a very aggressive way which I am going to tell you we will play the move f4. The idea is very simple white is telling black ok next move I am playing e5 and then I will attack your f6 knight and yeah if this way suits my style if this does not suit your style and you like to keep it safe do let me know in the comment section and I will make a follow up video. Smash like on this video if you are watching. Here black is having three major ways to play. First one is a very classical way that is the main line which is the move bishop to e7 which we will have a look at the very end but there is one more move which is 
quint B6 and this is known as the poison pawn variation you might know if you have uh, done a little bit of opening preparation black's idea is very simple just to take the B2 pawn and move out of this deadly pin so you might think that okay you know this is uh, our opponent's queen is attacking the B2 pawn here so we should protect it I say no 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 you should not protect it the general way to play here is to give up the pawn on b2 and that is why the name comes the poison pawn variation white plays queen to d2 black will take rook to b1 attacking the queen queen goes to a3 and now this is a very interesting line now i will not go much deep into this because the, the video will become too long now the idea white's idea can be either to play e5 or f5 and play in the center because most of white species have been developed and blacks only this queen is out nothing great happening here so that is why this is a good way for white to play and now for the move f4 i told you there are three ways so this is the second way which is the move b5 i don't know the uh, variation's name but i think the idea is simple bishop to b7 in general is the simple idea to fianchetto the bishop on the a8 h1 diagonal and control in general so you might think okay so is this a blunder is the move b5 blunder because after the move e5 uh, the f6 knight is pinned so you might think that okay piece is hanging we are winning wow very nice but no again no 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 <laughs> black can play h6 and it can lead to a decent position let me show you a couple of moves bishop retreats to h4 attacking the bishop again because our knight is under attack so we will play g5 opponent will play g5 f cross g5 knight goes to h7 because if it takes then the whole point is ruined <laughs> okay so knight goes to h7 queen h5 white's idea is very simple in this line go attacking as much as you can and kick away the opponent's pieces h takes bishop to g3 this is very interesting way i want to say here in this position is that i have highlighted here black is not developed completely and white is almost done with his development only this rook has to be developed i think which can be done after the move h4 and the file will be opened up for the rook very nice now let this is these were the two variations one more way in very interesting in the b5 variation i i showed you that after b5 e5 h6 can be played but there is one more way for black to play is to take it and now this is what the best move in this position after f takes e5 queen to c7 now you might think that oh, okay beta he has blundered his piece so we will take it but now black has a tactical move which will blow your minds which is queen to e5 check and now having the g5 bishop bishop e2 queen takes g5 and now castle white side is very simple i told you play in the center because black has started off with the move e4 c5 playing from the flank and not controlling the center directly so one more trivial information is that <laughs> if black plays the move c5 and which is the best move against the move e4 black is actually trying to go uh, gain advantage not trying to equalize the position from the very beginning let us continue a uh, castle the idea is simple i told you bishop to f3 and playing in the center and now the best move again it might surprise you is rook to a7 because next bishop can come to b7 and now if the rook is not on uh, a7 and now if black plays bishop to b7 it is a free piece so that is why we have to play rook to a7 and also rook is trying to come to d7 and trying to control the center file very nice this was a very interesting way so that is why i told okay i'll show you this variation now let us go ahead and look at the main line let me show you from the very beginning e4 c5 knight f3 d6 d4 all these exchanges happened bishop g5 e6 f4 we, de we decided to play bishop will come to e7 this is the main line it is a classical way to play if your opponent is not very adventurous he will play this move we'll play queen to f3 uh, as i said playing in the center queen c7 trying to play in the flank again triple o long castling okay you can play short castling but we'll rather prefer long castling knight bd7 and now uh, the point because why you don't want to choose short castling is that the best move here is the move g4 and this is all very well studied this is all opening theory i'm trying to teach this in a sim very simple way so that even a beginner can understand how to play this variation b5 as i said since our king's address is here that is why black will try to attack on the queen side g5 very aggressive and white side is simple attacking the knight for now and next f5 e5 bishop g2 bishop h3 blast off the center so that black does not get any chance to play what black should do what black's idea is just to move away the knight and then blast open the queen side 
very aggressive game this this is why i recommended uh, this variation if you don't uh, like this variation if you don't like this way of playing opening you can tell me in the comment section i'll be happy to know and i'll make a follow up video if it is in demand match like right now <laughs> let's continue knight d7 as i said the knight will go back f5 now here you might think that uh, this pawn is hanging but it is all well studied opening theory bishop cross g5 it is a check on our king big brain king it is knight e5 attacking the queen queen h5 queen e7 and now a tactical blow from white side knight takes on e6 bishop takes pawn takes and now if the queen takes here then the g5 bishop will be hanging so that is why g6 e cross f7 check knight cross f7 queen e2 so this is approximately 19 moves theory which i have told you here the final video of this complete e4 repertoire i hope you enjoyed watching this series it has been a very fun journey i know it might uh, seem a little whatever emotional or whatever you would like to call it but i enjoyed <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching this series as well and so this was the grand finale of this series if you want uh, any more complete repertoire or tell me the top 10 responses to 1.d4 1c4 any any recommendations any suggestions if you have do let me know in the comment section right now and smash like on this video five times with your left thumb and this is an experiment i know uh, if you have watched <laughs> the previous videos you will know and do let me know what you want to watch from me from the next time uh, in the in the upcoming videos and i hope the audio quality and the video quality is better yesterday ayush recommended uh, in the comments that the video quality is not up to the mark and it was because i was using my laptop's web camera obviously that is not an hd camera it is just a basic camera so i tried to up it go the next level by connecting my phone and it, it is a big setup i'll put up a picture if you want and uh, this was my effort this is me abhinav bhat signing off thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and bye